Right, everybody, welcome back. You want the results? It's at the end. We're going to start this mock test a little bit different. Mr. Mystery Mo is here once again, but Mo's having some issues with his pulling up and stopping on the right. One, he forgot to do his observations. <laughs> and two, there's a lot of steering going on. So, Mo, completely relaxed from me. Good. Uh, obviously, we're going to do our observations before we move off, do our signal, and we're going to pull up and stop on the right side of the road. So as I'm moving off, I'm signaling right because I need to show everybody that I'm going to move off. I'm going to signal right again, even though there's a side road here, because I'm going to pull up and stop shortly after the side road. If I wait too long, the signal's not going to benefit anybody. And now we're just moving in nice and gentle like an airplane landing at the airport. I'm going to start to straighten up and I'm going to go long towards the red car. Now this is the most important part of the whole maneuver, being nice and straight. We've got the cheat code here, most watching. Can you see that yellow line? Yeah. See it on the curb? See how nice and straight it is? Yeah. Straight. Yeah. So this next part's going to be easy. Check the right mirror. See the yellow line on the right yeah. mirror? Straight. Check the cheat code. See all the yellow lines on the cheat code? Yeah. Nice and straight. All we need to do now before we reverse is yes. Good. So we're going to do those really big blind spot checks. So I'm not need the steering. Design. No steering. Yeah. So zero steering now. It'll be a bit cheeky and go. But look at that. No steering. Gently put the brake on. Done. Park, handbrake, secure, finished. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do that a bit later. Okay. All right, Sorry, okay. go ahead. So this, the camera, you know, I, I was using this one, you know. This one is more... Alright, okay, I understand. When you're ready, I wish you the best of luck. Drive on, and for now, just follow the road ahead. Thank you very much. We're going to get gold this time, Mo. Gold. Feel it in my bones. Mo's going, what is this guy on? He's been drinking too much coffee for sure. With the bicycle coming, personally, I wouldn't have driven towards the bicycle. I don't think it was that dangerous, but if it was my driving test, would I take the risk? Probably not. All right, we switched on, we focused. Yeah, all right, okay. Pull up and stop on the right in a safe place, please. If it's safe, just follow the road ahead of the junction. And along this road, pull up in a safe place on the left. Sorry, my bad. On the right. On the right. Thank you. When you're ready and it's safe to do so, I'd like us to reverse back roughly two car lengths. Okay. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. Well done. If it's safe. Oh, let me see if we. Would you like to do sat nav or signs? Yes. Yeah. Sat uh, nav, please. Sat nav? Yeah. Okay. I'll just program us a route and we'll do our independent drive. In the meantime, we haven't done our tell me question. 
which will be able to tell me about the anti-lock braking system, ABS. So if there was a problem with the ABS, how would we know? You like, you like, you like it from the screen. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, fingers crossed this will stay programmed. This is the bit I love the most. <laughs> It's a little bit annoying. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go with it. So sat nav is programmed. What I'd like you to do. You oh. will arrive at your destination at eleven twenty-five a.m. It's a little bit lost at the moment. So for the time being, don't listen too much to sat nav. Just drive on for the road. It should reprogram shortly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the sat nav has reprogrammed. After 200 yards, turn right, Ethan Avenue, then turn left. If you would now follow the sat nav. All right, okay. Thank you. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left, B466, Eastcote Road. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, High Road East Coat. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Thank you. At the next roundabout, turn right. Second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. B466, High Road East Coat. Thank you. Okay, we're going to come back to the sat nav in just a few minutes, but okay. for now, just follow the road ahead and I'll give us the directions.
Let's take the next road on the right. Yes, please. Yes, into the jungle. If you just take the next road on the left. If you'd find a safe, convenient place to put up on the left. Thank you very much. Right, so let's see if the sat nav wants to work again. Turn left, Catlin's Lane. I'm just waiting to see if it reloads. Maybe I get extra, extra lucky. No. Okay. Would you be able to tell us how would you turn from dip beam to main beam headlight and explain its use. You press twice. Good, and then when we reuse the main beam. The main beam we use when the facility is very poor for that. Yeah. And the condition is minimum one hundred meters. Yes. So if the visibility is reduced less than hundred meters. Okay. All right, let's go. Take your time, safe, drive on, and follow the sat nav. Thank you. You will arrive at your destination at 11.46 a.m. At the end of the road, you'll have a staggered crossroads. That's a left turn into an immediate road, right. Turn left, left. Bridal Road, then turn right. Have you made a plan? Turn left, then turn right. Right, Rushdean Road, then take the third right. 
Excellent staggered crossroads, well done. After 200 yards, turn right, Abbotsbury Gardens. This is what we can't do, Mo. You see, you're trying to make a decision here. There's people behind you. Turn right, Abbotsbury Gardens. That's a bit confusing. If you're confused, just keep following the road. Don't do anything, just drive. What we can't do is slow down, stop, no signals, no mirror checks, don't know where we're going. People behind us are gonna get frustrated. Well, the signal was on. End of the road, turn left, field and road, then take the second right. Wait for 60 yards, mate. You're signaling too early. The car thinks we're going to turn in. That's why it's driving in front. Must be about five car lengths from the junction to signal. But this one. Turn left, field and road, then Are you take the second right. You're blaming somebody else? Yeah, this one. You're no. blaming them. Yeah. Okay. Because he entered the road because I didn't give him, you know. Hmm? I didn't give him this. He has to read me. He didn't read me. Yeah. The road. You showed the left signal. Yeah. So they thought you were going to turn left. Uh, Alright, okay. So the left signal, I have to. So the sixty yards is the best. After two hundred yards, turn yards. right, Elm Avenue. So we're going to turn right, so let's look for 60 yards, and then we put signals. So traffic lights here, right? It's 100, there's 90, there's 80, turn right. 70, 60. Okay, 60 yards, all right, okay. Anyone that's still with us, you get the best advice here. I'm going to stroke my super ego. Everybody else... Well, not everybody else. Mark's pretty decent. Uh, Conquer Driving's pretty decent. Uh, Francis is pretty decent. Anyway, smash that like button and make sure you always signal five car lengths, 60 yards from the junction. You cannot go wrong, even if there is a side road before. Notice that you steered left. Swan neck. Remember that love heart? We need to be straight and right. Yeah, I mean, look at the road markings. You can go all the way up here. You're stopping too early. See the line there? You come up to here and you can wait here. So you're stopping too early, yeah? Position. Sometimes the road is remarkable. You cannot see it. It's, 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 it's 
it's not clear enough. C correct, a lot of the yeah. time yeah. that's the case. So if there's no marking, what do we do? We have to, we have to stop them. You don't want to phone the council, ask them to bring down a bucket of paint? Yeah. Cool. You heard it here first. I don't know what council we're in. I should know that. What what borough, what council is Pinar? Three Bridges? No. Middlesex? I think it's Middlesex, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. In the comments. After 300 yards, turn right, west way, then turn right. No, we've gone over the line, yeah. over here. We're turning right, go right. You're going left, you're going over here, and then turning here. Just turn right, yeah? Okay. okay. Be careful of that swan neck. It's still coming up. After 90 yards, turn right, west way, then turn right. Ignore the sat map, just follow the road ahead. Turn left, man away, then turn around when possible. Okay, so the sat nav will reprogram now and just continue to follow the sat nav. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, Eastcote Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After 200 yards, turn right, pin way, then turn right. Turn right, then turn right. 60 yards. Okay, we've signaled at 30 yards. to the park cars. How far away is the next junction? After 80 yards, turn right, 
Evelyn Avenue. Turn right. And if you'd find a convenient, safe place to pull up on the left. Ta-da! Thank you, sir. Only if you just push the big red power button and we'll unplug. That is the end of a third epic mock test. Just being a bit cheeky checking the, checking the markings there. Uh, as we all know, it is a tradition around here to fold our arms and look grumpy. <laughs> How do you feel it went? Feeling well. Uh, feeling confused? Confused. Uh, when I was standing left, right, you know. Ah, okay. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on with your right turns? What's the confusion? That was the big confusion because I didn't see the, the, the road turning right, you know. So. Okay. Yeah. It was, then I signaled, then I cancelled, you know. That's the so I'm trying to help us, just like for this last right turn, okay. by asking how far away is the next right turn? Yeah. So I'm trying to help by asking that question. I'm not trying to be mean or sarcastic or yeah. any of the things that I often get caught. I don't care, by yeah. the way, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just making sure that you understand. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm here to help. Okay, so if I feel a bit grumpy or something, just tell me. Scott? Shut up, yeah? yeah. Uh, so the last junction turning right, I said, how far away is the next junction? So if we've got the sat nav, we can have a look at the top, yeah. and at the top is a number, yeah. and that number counts down to the junction. So it might start off as 500, 500. and then it gets 400, 300, 200, 100, as we get closer. Yeah. So sometimes if we're confused, mm we don't know where the road is, have a look. If the sat nav's there, have a look mm. and see what number it says. Yeah. If it says 100, we're very close. If it says 60, we signal. Oh, okay. Yeah? yeah. So it's going to help us to know where the junction is, when to signal. Okay. And hopefully that will avoid any confusion because you're saying you're confused. Yeah. yeah. When, yeah? It's, uh, when it's 100, it's close, you know, and 60. Signal. There you go. All yeah. right. So hopefully that will help the All confusion. Right. Okay. Um, if you don't have the sat nav, ask the examiner. You've done that before. Yeah. Yeah. So just say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Where's the next road on the right? Or where's the next road on the left? Or whatever. Where's the roundabout? Where's the traffic light? Uh -huh. yeah. All right. okay. um, and the examiner will be more than willing to help. That's fine, you know that anyway. Uh, yeah, I know that. Right, so we said we were confused at the crossroads. Chat, judge during examiners, get Saki's comments on that one. <laughs> um, get your uh, get your opinion in. Uh, not opinion about me, about pass or fail. Um, any other questions? Any other bits and pieces that we might no. be confused about? So just the right turn? Just the right turn. That was turn, it? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Um, so just marked two marks. Yeah, um, one was awareness and planning, so just make a plan early. We're, tr we're getting to the junction, what one was this one? I'll come back to that one. Awareness and planning, so we need to make a plan early. So I put the time down, I just can't remember exactly what junction that was now. Okay, um, now with the other one where the car drove out in front of us from the car park. Remember? And you said, oh, I didn't give him way. Yeah. Did, yeah? Yeah. 
It was because of that timing. I signaled the alley. We did. We signaled yeah. maybe a hundred and something yards, and then that way it's it's early, but there was a side road. Yeah. So because of the side road, we got to be careful. So that vehicle thought that we were trying to turn in. You know, I don't need to yeah. go into detail. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, easy yeah. to understand. So yeah, just be careful of that timing on the signal. It's bugging me about the awareness and planning on the first serious fault. Okay, anyways, so there's a couple of marks there, both serious. Unfortunately, it won't be a pass. Any serious driver faults or major driver faults or dangerous driver faults, as they might be called, lots of different things to call them, um, are immediate fails. You know, 15 minor faults, we can still pass. 16 minor faults, and we fail for minor faults. Okay, um, let's probably do another route. I don't know. What do you have in mind? We'll do. Uh, yeah, I want to get this gold medal. Uh, yeah? All right, we'll be back for our last and final mock test. We'll see you on the next one.